figure out. All right, so if we look at this problem, guys, um, again, we could look into doing this integral in our head, if you see it. If you don't see it, then say, all right, well, let's go ahead and use u substitution. We obviously have a composition function. We have the e um, function, and we have exponential function, and we have negative 3x. So I can say u is going to equal negative 3x. Therefore, du dx is equal to negative 3. And obviously, you guys, we know we do not have a negative 3. So basically, du equals negative 3 dx. So I have dx, but I need to compensate for the negative 3, right? I need to compensate for this negative 3, because the negative 3 is not in that problem, correct? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw out a negative 1 third, and I'm just going to take it outside of the integral. Win. And therefore, then I'll have e to the u du. All right, so let's make sure we have everything covered. We have the function raised to u, where u equals negative 3x. du is equal to um, negative 3 dx, but we're, con but we're correcting this negative 3 with the negative 1 third to make sure we're covered. Look good? Looks good? No, it doesn't look good. OK. Um, so therefore, guys, if therefore finding the integral of this, we're going to have negative 1 third e to the u, which is negative 3x. And then again, um, we don't need to add the plus c because we need to evaluate this for ln of 2 over 0. <coughs> okay. So now, to go ahead and evaluate that, I can have negative 1 third e to the negative 3 times ln of 2. <sighs> minus, um, you could distribute this, but let's just leave this on the outside, times the e to the negative 3 times 0. Okay. Now, we do got to remember a couple things about things. Remember, guys, whenever we have an exponent in front, remember when you have an exponent in front, you could always bring that up to the as a power. You guys remember that? Like, like uh, 2 ln of x is the same thing as ln of x squared. Right? Do you guys remember that? OK. So I can take this negative 3 and put it to the power as 2. That's helpful. So I have negative 1 third. And then I could rewrite this as e to the ln of 2 to the negative third minus e to the 0, because negative 3 times 0 is that. So guys, what's e to the ln of um, ln of anything? No, well, e to the ln of x is just x. So therefore, this gives me negative 1 third. You have 2 to the negative third. And then minus e to the 0 is one. minus 1. So simplify this one more time. I get negative 1 third. 2 to the negative 1 third, 2 to the negative third is equal to 1 over 2 cubed, which equals 1 over 8. 1 over 8 minus 1. 1 over 8 minus 1, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be 7, negative, uh, negative 7 eighths. And then you multiply straight across, and you would get a positive 7 24ths. which I'm just going to write here as my final answer, which would be a positive 7 24ths. Kind of cool, huh? No? OK.